So how are you supposed to respond to witchcraft? And I say this to you, uh, I say this for instance, um, if a witch attacks you or appears in your dream and threatens you by saying, we will deal with you or your family, uh, or we're going to stop, or we'll, we'll deal with you and your family, and it's in, in the dream, and they said, you stop going to church. Now, when you wake up, what do you do? Do you, do you, do you go to that, uh, to that witch and shake their hands? I said this before to you. Do you go to them and shake their hands and give, a, and give them a hug uh, or give her a hug and say, I love you. I bless the Lord for you, witch. I am so happy for this attack. Great is my reward in heaven. Then before long... Your support, I mean, your, your your spouse falls down and dies. That which then comes back to you uh, that same night in your dream, uh, that same night your spouse died and says, we told you that we will deal with you. Wait and see. Oh, and, on the, and you know what? You do nothing and then on the day of the funeral, of your spouse, your first child collapses and ends up in an, in an emergency. And then you have another dream. The same which comes to you and say, you know what? We got your spouse and we got your child and we are not done yet. Then you sit down there and you quote Luke chapter 6 and verse 29. And you say, unto him that smite thee on the one cheek, offer also thee. Offer also the other, and give him that taketh away thy husband, and give him also thy thy first child also, and him that taketh away your business, give him your paycheck, and also, I mean, she says, the witch has just said she's coming back. That's okay. After all, the Bible says, give unto every man so you know some of you behave like that after all if she's coming back the bible says and she says i want you i took your wife i took your children now i want you and you are you gonna stand there and say well the bible says give unto every man that asks you the bible says are you gonna quote that they asked for your spouse they got her they asked for your child they got him they asked for your job they got it then you say, I am expecting the next thing you will do to me because Jesus Christ said this, uh, this is the way we are supposed to react. This is why I decided to explore deeper concerning the altars, witchcraft, our response and the power that the believer has, your response, the finished work of Jesus Christ puts you in a position and it is waiting for your activation. Your response is after Jesus has died and risen from the dead. The rest of the other things are left you, the believer, to activate, to apply yourself and bring them to manifestation. This is why I decided to, to teach this message because I am tired of letting the devil get, get away with everything God is not pleased when we bow. You see, God is not pleased when we bow down to the schemes of the enemy. He has provided us. God. That's why God has provided us with ammunition against such cases. You don't ever have to think twice again. After this, when you are attacked, what should you do? When you are attacked by a witch, this should be your response. You say, as a child of God, the battle is not mine, but it is the Lord's. Are you hearing the response? The battle is, as a child of God, this battle is not mine. What are you doing? You are now transferring that battle to the blessed Holy Spirit. This battle is not mine, but the Lord's. So you see, for us as, as children of God, we don't go and revenge and fight the devil and his witches. We don't go fight the devil and his witches. That is lowering our standard. We are New Testament believers. So we don't pray. I mean, we don't repay evil for evil. We rise to a higher level. It is now that level. What's that level? It's now spirit against spirit. Because it is the spirit of witchcraft in that witch 
against the spirit of God in me, the spirit of God in you. So this is a spirit against spirit. And we have the higher power. So the, so, so the Bible says that the, that First uh, John 4, 4, ye little children, you are of God and have overcome them, the Antichrist and his agents, because greater is he that is in you than the spirit that is in the world. So, so you need to understand that. And a child of God, you should not have any dream of a witch and be frightened no matter what it looks like. Remember, this is not about that witch. It's about the spirit operating in her against the spirit of God operating in you. The last time I checked, nobody can, even when they killed Jesus, buried him in the tomb and sealed it, it could not stop the Holy Ghost not only to blast away the tomb, but even went as far as in the Hades, in the hell, in, in the Hades, and Jesus had to rise from the dead. The Bible tells us in Romans 8, 10, that Jesus rose by the power of the Holy Spirit. He who raised Jesus from the dead, if the same spirit of him who raised Jesus, of God that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you, then that same spirit will quicken your mortal bodies too in the name of Jesus. So this is why I'm saying we have the higher power. So you need to understand this, that light must prevail over darkness. You belong to the kingdom of light. The spirit of God in you is greater than the spirit of Satan in the world. You, you, are, you belong to light. Light is greater than, stronger than darkness. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to rise up and say, you witch, you devil, you made a big mistake. You touched the anointed of God. That's what you should say. You touch the anointed of God. Did you notice how the believers, when they were conf when they were tortured, persecuted in Acts of Apostles, when they prayed, they said, Lord, consider their threats and empower your servants with the power of the Holy Ghost to, and the boldness to preach the gospel with the miracle signs and wonders following us. <laughs> so you see, you speak to that devil. So today, you will... Um, that's what you should open up your mouth and say, you devil, you witch, you made a big mistake. You touched me as the anointed of God. Because whoever touches you has touched God. You no longer belong to yourself. That's how you relinquish the battle. Are you listening to the things I'm saying? You no longer belong to yourself. I don't belong to me. I belong to God. Whoever is fighting me is fighting God. Any altar challenging me, you have challenged the Holy Ghost. I no longer live. You have challenged the blood of Jesus. And that's when you say, thou blood of Jesus, arise and challenge your challengers. Because you understand the blood bought you. You're no longer your own. You, you were purchased, First Corinthians. Chapter 6, verse 19 and 20, you were bought at a price. You belong to God. So today, I will give you, you that's what you tell <laughs> that witch. Yeah, yeah, you witch today, I will give your head to the dogs. We are to fight back. We don't, let me emphasize this. So we don't go, we don't go revenging and fighting the devil and his witches. For us, we rise to a higher dimension. We are to fight back in prayer. We give the enemy a test of his own medicine in prayer. We are, you see, for us as believers, we wear our armor and the fight in prayer by raising our defenses against the attacks of the enemy. So even as you pray in, tax, in tongues, you are raising the attacks of the um, defense against the attacks of the enemy. When you forgive your offender, especially if there are those that will try to um assault you, offend you, so that your heart will be will be uh, polluted, so that they can have way, uh, leeway to attack. So for us, we wear our armor and then fight in prayer, raising our defense against the attacks. It's not cursing. Are you hearing me? It's not cursing, but defending yourself and the sending back. You need to understand. When you send, there are a lot of people who don't understand scripture mysteries. When you say every satanic arrow back to your sender, most people think you are cursing. It is not cursing. It is defending yourself and the sending back the curse of the attack from where it came from. 
And the Bible actually puts it, if you don't believe in the word of God, so you cannot nick, what do you call it, 